What is up guys, today we are gonna be building the booth for not only the Corvette, which is gonna be painted very soon, but also the Cressida. You might see it looks a little bit different in here right now. We've cleared everything out on this side and we're gonna to have to clear out the rest of the stuff. And that's because we're gonna be using up all this space for the booth. We're gonna try and put it as far into this corner as possible. It is gonna stick a little bit out into here. It's gonna be extremely long and extremely wide in order to be able to have enough room to get all the way around not only the Bozo car with the extended lift, but also the width of the Corvette. As you can see, we moved this wall back and everything to allow more space. We got Chris's motor in the way. He's gonna be coming here later today and helping me out, and he's gonna be putting his trans on. Hopefully, he just got his new clutch, so hopefully, we're gonna get a lot of this stuff kind of organized and out of the way. Uh, the Vic is gonna be going outside for now. Uh, that thing's gonna be outside until we are finished with the vet, and uh, that way, we can keep this thing in here. We'll just move this over for when we have the vet in the actual booth. Chris just got here, and he's gonna supplies. Uh, main thing is, uh, I was going to do the trailer, but I'm just going to have it stick out of this thing. I forgot that just this glass can open up, so we're just going to have it stick out of there. All right, so as you can see, we got a crap ton of these things and we got a bunch of other stuff too from Harbor Freight. Uh, this was yesterday whenever we went and got the paint with George. So we got two guns, we got two filters so that way we don't have any condensation in the lines. We also got some masks as well. Uh, we actually also bought the paint but we had to wait till the next day to pick it up and it was down by George and so George just went and picked it up for me yesterday. So we have the paint, we have the supplies and today we're gonna have the boot. So we're pretty much almost ready to paint the vet except for some a little bit more prep and uh, a little bit of body work that's going to be done on that thing but i'm going to start building this thing i have no idea how much i'm going to use but we're just going to start and see how it goes All right, so a couple of things. We haven't updated you for a couple hours. Uh, we've just been really busy doing a lot of Chris's stuff. We got his headers on, uh, the trans is on and everything. You saw that. Uh, but we put it here in the corner, just kind of tucked away in the back. Uh, we might be here tomorrow installing that in the car. We're not sure yet. Uh, but basically, we're clearing everything out. As you can see, we moved the Cressida up onto the clean side. Uh, this is still going to be completely cut off here. Uh, we moved the MG over. Basically, it's super packed over on this side, but that's just how it's going to have to be for a couple of weeks until the vet is 100% ready. Uh, basically, um, now I can finally start assembling the entire thing. I really haven't gotten much done at all, but essentially, uh, I'm going to start building it all now, uh, the whole structure and everything. Uh, I have yet to get the plastic that I'm going to be using to go all the way around, but that's just because I wanted to kind of see how much we're going to need first and how tall and how long and make sure we get the right size plastic. Um, also, a couple of things. Uh, you want to follow me? Brought this with me. We finally uh, take this thing off. That's kind of sketchy for sure. Hope it fits. <laughs> the same one. Oh my god, it, I think it might be a different one. That's so annoying. No way. I think there's only two. It'd definitely go on easy if it was the right one. I know. Damn, that's. I'm so butthurt. All that for nothing. You went to a junkyard? Yeah. <laughs> that was like a, a hour and a half long trip just for. Damn it. I don't think it's gonna fit me. <laughs> I'm pissed. Well, so much for that. <laughs> uh, that's so annoying. Well, that's staying on there for now. Anyways, well, uh, we put the Vic outside. This is gonna be staying outside. We're not doing anything that, with that right now. So 
we've got the main structure of this so far. Uh, the main point of today was essentially, I had to bring the Escalade down here uh, to be able to actually get all the materials uh, just because it is so big. Um, but I'm not sure how big we're gonna wanna make it exactly because I have the vet here and I didn't measure it, which I should have. Uh, but we just wanna make sure that George has ample space to be able to shoot the car uh, without you know, being restricted by space. Um, this is obviously huge. This is basically how big we're gonna need it for the Cressida. Um, but right now, we've just been running into a little bit of uh, troubles with uh, just basically how I wanted to build it is not how we're going to be able to build it, uh, just because of lack of you know like what I was able to actually get. Uh, however, uh, we're gonna make this work. I just I don't want to make it work being this big unless I have to. I'd like to actually make it a little bit smaller uh, or as small as possible, essentially, uh, just so we have a little bit more room outside of it. Uh, so I think. I'm gonna bring the Corvette down here tomorrow, and then we're probably gonna to start to install Chris's engine in his car, and then uh, I'll actually be able to size this thing properly, and then from there we'll be able to use all of this excess material to actually be able to make this a lot more uh, structurally sound, because um, right now everything's just fitted in loosely. Um, whenever we actually paint the car, obviously we don't want it caving in and ruining everything, so what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna put self-tappers through the PVC, um, that way we can take those things out and then be able to disassemble this whole thing so that way we're able to, and then that way we're able to reuse this for the Cressida. Um, and then we still have to have it be able to support uh, some plastic, so we're gonna do runners across the top and everything. It's just, I wanna be able to get it basically structurally sound, and then we'll start kind of doing everything that we need to do. Um, but hopefully we can try and get these corners a bit stronger. That's really the only thing that's lacking right now. I wasn't able to get the pieces that I thought I was gonna be able to get. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow and we'll finish the thing up. So we're here back at the warehouse with the Corvette and we're gonna actually bring it in here to see how much space we need to see if we can break this thing and make a little bit, or break it down. <laughs> break it see if we can break this thing down and make it a little bit smaller uh, so first thing we're literally just gonna move this thing over and take out that bottom piece drive this thing in here try and center it and then see how much room we need All right, so we just got finished doing a bunch of work to this thing. It is so much more stable now. Uh, excuse my hair. I had the top down uh, in the vet on the way here, so obviously I got messed up. Anyways, not only do we have this extra support in right here uh, because we couldn't do corners, we couldn't find corner pieces, uh, we put this in here, damn near close to the corner, and then we added string support. I'm not sure if you could see, but we went crosswise, and then we went also across here and across here. Um, we, I was gonna put a lot more, but I don't know if we really need it because these are actually pretty tight across here. So what we're gonna do right now uh, is we're gonna take this plastic that we got. Um, this was pretty much like the, our best option here. This was 80 bucks just for plastic to be able to paint this thing. Pretty crazy, I don't even know if this is gonna uh, basically do everything. I know for a fact that this is gonna be able to do the roof and then maybe the floor, but we might still need to get some for the sides and everything else. What we're gonna do right now is do one big piece that's gonna be this front here, across the top, and then down the back. Building this has really been quite the process. Um, I think I definitely could have done it a couple of different ways that would have been better, easier, more efficient, and probably cost less. Uh, however, this is kind of just what I wanted because I wanted to be able to basically have a structure that I could take down and build back up. This is working out pretty good. Uh, we have a little bit of sag here in the middle, which was to be expected. Uh, we still have a little bit more that we wanna do in pulling some of these back, which is actually gonna pull this up a little bit. But even if it didn't, and we left it just like this, it actually has plenty of clearance for when we lift this thing up because we are gonna put it on jack stands, and then that way we can take off the wheels and we'll be able to get under the car 
and then we'll have plenty of room to get on the top just because the car is so low. One thing I was a little disappointed on is just that we got this so dirty trying to get this thing up here. I'm really not sure what we're going to do about that. I'll probably consult George whenever we come here tomorrow. Um, but pretty much I have a few more things before I'm going to end off today's video. Uh, I know the booth isn't 100% done yet, but that's just because uh, I don't want to finish the booth until the car is 100% prepped because it wouldn't make any sense to uh, basically get our what is supposed to be clean booth you know, all dirty with the dust and everything that we're gonna create when we do the prep and everything for the rest of the body. And then also, uh, I still have to do a bunch of little repairs. I have to fill in a couple more holes and then all the other stuff, uh, basically the whole underside all has to be sanded down and repaired just from scraping and everything. Um, and then also, just to protect it from uh, further damage after we paint it, I'm gonna try and get these frame sliders or whatever they're called. I'm either gonna build some or I'm gonna buy some. Uh, my problem right now is the ones that I can buy are very easily buildable. And then from there, I might as well just, you know, make them myself rather than spending $300 for them. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I may just make them myself, but obviously I'll make a video about that if I do. One super little thing that doesn't really matter all that much, I did get another part in for the vet. So we got this new one. It seems to be working perfectly fine and it's a little bit nicer than the one I have. So we're gonna install that tomorrow sometime. That way I'm not rolling down any hills even though these things do usually suck in these vets. Anyways, that's just a super small thing. I figured I'd update you on what I have. We really don't have much longer before this thing is fully ready for paint and then painted from there. Uh, the wheels are off to three piece. They should be getting chromed now. I'm not sure. They said they're in queue for disassembly. Uh, so that means that they're gonna take them all apart, get them chromed, put them back together, and then they're gonna send them out here. So hopefully by the time this thing is finished painting, we're gonna get those wheels in shortly afterwards. And this thing's just gonna start coming together super quickly. And I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna get a little uh, spray time myself. George is going to teach me a little bit and I hope to, you know, spray some color on this thing myself. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.